Good morning. I'm Alex. Uh, I've been raising Nigerians in Kansas for the last nine, working on ten years. As you can see, it doesn't look like it from where I'm at right now, but my husband and I just got married relatively recently in the last couple years, and we've been slowly building up this new property that we're at. So, I decided this morning while I was milking that I would show how we train or how I train our goats to stand for the milk stand since that's something I've been asked repeatedly and I've seen a lot of people questioning and there's a lot of different methods but I think the most cost effective one that I've run into uh, is this one and it's mainly because it's stuff that we already have on hand and as you see I've got a mesh stand so it, it works better, but I imagine if you have a wood stand, you could I'd put uh, rings or something along this side to do the same. All I've done here is taking a uh, dog leash that we use for the goats anyhow. And give me your foot. Taking the uh, handle right here. Just pull this right through. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I usually do it two-handed. So you have a loop. It can stretch on itself. This also works for making uh, for making temporary collars or uh, halters for the goats. But then just put her back foot. I put the near hind uh, in. Pull it just tight enough that you can uh, leave it there and it won't fall off. And what I do is I pull this leg back far enough like this. If you can kind of see the angle that she's got, she can easily stand on it if she rocks weight back to it. So she can be comfortable. But in order to kick with the other foot, she'd have to put a lot more weight on the tied foot than is on it. Or she could put on it and she'd be unstable. Or to kick for this foot, she can't reach. And then I just bring this forward. Again, I usually do this two-handed. And I just use the clip to clip onto the metal. So now if I'm messing with her, like I was to milk her, she can't kick me. Now, this is my first freshener. She's not... I've been milking her for like two months, and she doesn't want to figure out how to milk without kicking. But uh, it's worked fine for most of the other goats that I've... Uh, trained to milk. Uh, I do have one second year uh, Tico Alpine cross that is refusing to learn. But she's refusing to learn a lot of things too. So The good thing about this one is it works for any size because I can stretch it back farther and farther and just as far up as I need to. Or as they're starting to learn better I can release it so I eventually she might just have her foot tied back to here until she's ready to uh, stand properly and let me milk. And the nice thing about this, if this breaks, you can trade it out and reuse this for a lead. Please excuse the noise, we live really close to a highway. And like I was saying, like I was saying, if uh, I had a wood stand, I'd probably put either like eye rings or uh, hooks of some sort along this side or even underneath because you can also just run it underneath. And you see how it's wrapped around the back leg of the stand so that uh, she can't pop it off to the side. So yeah, our gorgeous model. Uh, that's very happy that she got to finish her food from milking. Um, again, please excuse the noise. We live really close to a highway and excuse the mess because we're trying. But I just thought that this might be a way to show people a fairly simple solution for training goats to stand, stand for milking uh, with items that you more than likely already have on hand or you can make because 
this could also be done with any form of lead as long as it's got that handle or you can make a slip knot in it just make sure it's got this knife it's wide enough so it doesn't cut off circulation to their leg for the most part this also seems to help with goats that want to lay down also because if you pull this leg back it they can lay down it just is very uncomfortable so I hope that's helpful um I'm not used to doing this so I'm sorry for the poor video quality and the noise God bless.